Hey everyone, welcome back. So, it has been uh, a weird weekend here. We've had a ton of snow. Um, I'd say we have probably, there's what, four or five inches out there right now and I already yesterday cleared some snow, so about seven or eight inches, maybe even more. Uh, and it has finally stopped snowing. We had the power out off and on the longest for a couple of hours and so while the power's on I've got bread bacon in the oven because I had made some no need dough this morning it hasn't risen as much as it should but I'm worried that the power will go out and then I won't be able to bake it at all so while it's on it, it's in there and I'm thinking I should make something for dinner now the nice thing is about having a propane stove is that I can still use it when the power's out. All I need to do is manually light it, but the gas flows. So that's good. But I haven't been able to go to the grocery store this weekend. There's not a lot that I need actually. But today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through my freezer section and I'm gonna grab out a bunch of little things, odds and ends, and make sort of a chili. I'm using air quotes there. I've got some rice in the fridge. Uh, we've got the bread going. so. I know I've got some beans, lentils, things like that. So let's just go in there. I'm gonna grab out the odds and ends. We're gonna make it. I'm not gonna use the Instant Pot because again, I'm worried that the power will go out halfway through this process. So let me go and find what I'm gonna use for this that's in the freezer. And my freezer is way too full, so this is something that needs to happen. I know I'm not the only one. <laughs> You'll see that I have my water jug out uh, because I made sure to fill that sucker up before when the, it started snowing and I realized it was going to be a snowstorm and I've been glad that I did that. So, let's see. Okay, so I have white onions, some uh, navy beans, some lentils, I know that's not traditional, but might as well use them up. I have some chopped red peppers, uh, red and yellow peppers, because I bought a bunch and I always chop them up and put them in the freezer, so I've got some of those. We have some onion already chopped. I've got the navy beans. I've got the black beans. I've got the lentils. Um, no, I'm not going to use that. I've got a few of these hot dogs. <laughs> that have been sitting in the freezer. I'm gonna throw those in there because when I was a kid, I loved having hot dogs in my beans. Um, and I've got a little bit of the spaghetti sauce. So that's what I'm gonna use. I'm also gonna use a can of these diced tomatoes um, and some smoked paprika. And you know what, for spices, I'm gonna use a package of the Sloppy Joe mix. Again, using stuff that's been sitting in my cupboard for way too long. So, I'm going to get some oil and uh, get these things ready to go in here. Follow the hot dogs a little bit. And this. So, I'll be back in a second. Turned out those hot dogs are freezer burns. My fault. Uh, so, I'm going to use this Mediterranean sausage from Eve's. This is actually quite good. I love it. And so, I've got four. There was three and a half links in there. I'm going to use one and a half. One of the things on my list to get this weekend was olive oil. Uh, so there's just a little bit left in here. That's okay, I have canola oil as well if I need it. But we're just gonna go with that. And... Do you guys ever do this? Just 
finally get frustrated that your freezers or your fridge is so packed full uh, and decide to do a recipe <laughs> based on what's in there. I'm gonna add in some onions. Yeah, let's add all of that in. I wash those Ziploc bags a couple times. And then some of the peppers, yellow and red peppers. The nice thing about freezing onions and peppers is that they soften really fast when you do cook them. It's the freezing process it makes that happen. So it just speeds everything up. Okay, so that's in there. I'm gonna add the sausage. Just to give it a little brown. It's not really in a brown. We're basically just gonna dump everything in there and let it simmer. And if the power goes out, it'll still cook, which is the good news. So let's open this, this can of tomatoes. This is another thing I need to pick up from the store. Again, not critical, but this is my last can of diced tomatoes. It already smells good. Oh, I should check my timer for the bread. All right, the lid is off of the Dutch oven and the bread is now cooking for another half hour-ish. If you haven't tried my no need bread recipe and you're intimidated about making bread, try it. All right, so this is cooked enough. Let's start adding in our stuff. I'm gonna add in about a teaspoon of smoked paprika. well-rounded teaspoon. I'm not really concerned about the measurements here. We're just cooking from, you know, how we feel. Hmm. Okay, so the sloppy joe mixture. I don't know why I bought this, but I did. And it's been sitting in my cupboard for way too long. Stir that up. Now let's add in our tomatoes. And our spaghetti sauce. Now we're going to add our leftover beans that are in our fridge. That's black beans, probably about half a can-ish, I would say. Large can, the rest of our navy beans, and our lentils. Now, do I want all of these? Maybe I won't do all of the lentils. I'll just do, you know, that many. This is gonna be a lot. So, those things are still frozen in there, and I'm just going to let them be until they thaw out. Turn this on low. Tastes pretty good. So far. So we're just going to let this be. I'm just trying to bury the beans in the lentils in the sauce. I think I will move this over to a smaller burner just so that it simmers because my stove is really hot. So we're going to let that simmer. Put the lid on it. Let it simmer on low until it cooks. So I'll be back here when it's done. We'll give it a taste test to see if it needs anything. Um, but yeah, that will feed me all week. I might even freeze some portions, but my freezer looks so much nicer now that it's empty of a bunch of stuff. And that was easy, healthy, nutritious, tons of protein in that sucker, and fiber. I'd make cornbread, but I'm already baking bread, so we don't need both of those this week. It's just me in this house. 
So I'll see you back here when this is all ready to go. I froze some and the rest I'm going to, I've just put in the fridge for the week. So that was barely a recipe. <laughs> it was a, basically, I guess we can call this garbage can chili. It's whatever is in your freezer, add it in there, add in a can of diced tomatoes. You know what? That package of sloppy joe mix worked out great. Now this isn't spicy. You might want to add some chili uh, pepper in here. Chili pepper, chili, chili powder, chili powder. <laughs> That's it in here. If you wanted it spicier, um, this isn't, I might add some hot sauce in a bit, but this is delicious. And I'm going to enjoy this for dinner tonight. And for the rest of the week, again, I'm going to heat up the rest of that rice, maybe tomorrow and put the chili over top of it. Maybe one day this week, I will bake a potato and put the chili over top of that. Anyways, guys, I know that I had I haven't posted a recipe on Wednesday for a couple of weeks. The thing is that when my work week is super busy, um, I'm working pretty long hours. And so I've given myself permission to not do a Wednesday video if it's just too busy in my personal life, because this year is about self care and um, I am trying to reduce my stress level for health reasons. And um, that is one of the things that I've decided to do. So think of Wednesday videos, recipe videos as a bonus. I will try and do them, but sometimes you just don't have the energy. I'm sure you guys understand because you're busy too. So anyways, guys, um, remember in a world where you can be kind, Nope, that's not it. <laughs> Remember, in a world where you can be anything, be kind, eat good food. I love you, and I'll see you next time.